Development debates have recently been dominated by the search for ways to finance the ambitious 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, culminating in the 2015 Financing for Development Conference in Addis Ababa. But one of the topics missing from the discussions was Social and Solidarity Finance, or SSF. And I argue that it is a different approach to finance, based on the conviction that money can actually be a means to achieve positive social, ethical and environmental goals. That was Anup Dash from Udkal University in India at a recent UNRWA's workshop on how social and solidarity finance can democratise access to finance, foster local development and community building, and reinsert solidarity into the financial sphere. According to workshop participants, not only could it support the broader financing of the SDGs, but it's also needed to enable social and solidarity economy, or SSE, to grow, which itself was the focus of a recent UNRWA's inquiry. If the SSE, so cooperatives and all, all manner of organisations, grow and thrive, but the mainstream banking system it remains as it is, there will continue to be this systemic transference of wealth away from the communities and the employees and the families all connected to the SSE. But why is all this important as the development community moves beyond 2015 and into the new development agenda? Nicole Alex from the Rencontre du Mont Blanc an international forum of social and solidarity economy entrepreneurs explains. First of all, we should try to make people understand, make people in the UN and in the States understand that social and solidarity economy is a means of implementation of social, um, of sustainable development goals. And, second point, that we need social and solidarity finance to support this social and solidarity economy uh, and because mainstream finance is not um, interested in uh, supporting this kind of uh, economy and this is why we can make establish a, a connection between what is uh, uh, at stake in uh, Addis Ababa for financing for development and what is at stake uh, in the General Assembly uh, in September uh, as for uh, the uh, sustainable goals for development. More policy outreach on SSF based on solidly grounded research will be needed to put a new form of development financing on the agenda. Let's not ignore the transformative potential of SSF, both for financing SSE activities and for contributing to a more stable financial system that's conducive to sustainable development. Thank you.